The stage is set for the 2015 American Men's Soccer Championship. The four seed Tulsa and three seed UConn upset the top two seeds of the tournament and will now face off for the American Athletic Conference title. The Golden Hurricane knocked off the top seed SMU after losing to the Mustangs twice in the regular season. American Defensive Player of the Year Bradley Bourgeois put Tulsa up 2-1 with a header in the 62nd minute, but the Mustangs would tie the game with under two minutes to go to send it to overtime. Two scoreless overtime periods would send it to PKs, something Tulsa is becoming familiar with in the American Championships. Tulsa keeper Jake McGuire stepped up big yet again, saving the first SMU PK, and the Hurricane would advance 4-3 on penalty kicks. Yeah, we just like to make it interesting, I guess. So, um, I don't know, we just step up and our guys are really confident on the ball when they're taking their PKs. Um, and I just, my mindset is just make at least one save and our guys will do the rest. Well, I wish I had a, an answer for the resilience in terms of, and I mean, really, that is them. Uh, that is this group. And uh, they've done it all year long. Um, they've come back from behind. They just never give in. Um, we don't always do things perfect um, or correct. But their resiliency has, has uh, it goes without question, and I'm um, so proud of them. And really, they deserve all the credit for that. Yeah, I mean, the, the pressure has been on since last game, um, and then this game. So we just got to do it one more time, um, and it's going to be tough, but we can do it. Um, it's going to be a great game, and, and uh, certainly look forward to, you know, look forward to playing for a trophy again on Sunday. The three seed UConn knocked off the two seed USF two to one in front of their home crowd to stamp their ticket to the final. These two teams met in last year's semis in stores with the Bulls upending the Huskies on their own pitch, but the Huskies were able to turn the tables this year. You know, we were very disappointed last year and we wanted to, we wanted to flip the script and our boys flipped the script. They played hard tonight. South Florida is a very good team uh, and our guys grinded it out tonight in a, in a tough environment and Scott Levine was big time, Kwame was big time, Jake, we're very happy. Honestly, I believe in coincidence, fate, because the same thing happened this year. We beat Temple in the quarterfinals at our place, and then it, we played USF, and they beat us in penalty shots. And the same thing happened this year. We beat Temple, and then we came down here, and it's always nice to win the semifinals, finally get to back to the finals in the conference tournament. After a scoreless first half, junior Sebastian Brem struck first. Great shot from outside the box, and it was his first goal of the year. He picked a pretty good time to step up for the Huskies. Freshman Abdu Thiam netted the game winner just minutes after, off an assist by American midfielder of the year Kwame Awuha. UConn hasn't lost in the past month and is arguably playing their best soccer of the year heading into the postseason, outscoring their opponents 14-3 in the past seven games. Like Coach Reed always says, we have a young team, a bunch of freshmen starting, but I think they learned from the first few games when it was tough. And we've been through hell, so I think it's time for us to get to heaven. Peaking at this time is perfect in order for us to get into the tournament. We just got to fight. We, we just got to fight on Sunday. You know, this is a very good South Florida team we beat, and uh, now we got to get ready for Tulsa. We got to put that one in the bank, get ready for Tulsa. Uh, Tulsa's a very talented team, and it was a very good game at their stadium. It was back and forth, and we scored in the last second, as I remember. And, it's always nice to play Tulsa again. I have a couple of friends on that team, and we'll see who the best team may win, yeah? Tulsa is the defending conference champion, winning their eighth league title last season, and has advanced to the NCAA tournament eight times under head coach Tom McIntosh. UConn head coach Ray Reed has an impressive resume as well, with 23 NCAA appearances in 26 years as a head coach. The Huskies are looking for their fifth conference tournament title. They haven't won an American tournament title yet. The closest they came was in 2013 when they dropped the final in PKs to USF. Winner of the championship game will earn an automatic bid to the NCAA tournament. Sunday's championship match will air live on ESPNU. Kickoff is set for 2 p.m. Eastern, 1 Central. For the American Digital Network, I'm Haley Allen.